Happy Sunday to all my State of Sorrel followers out there. So I decided to do the weekend mashup today instead of tomorrow since we had a fun-filled, crazy March Madness weekend. Um, so went out and of course asked my followers what you guys wanted me to talk about today and naturally most of the topics fell within um, the NCAA tournament. So I just thought I'd cover a couple um, of standout games and standout teams um, in this weekend mashup and would love to know everyone's thoughts on the NCAA tournament. So the big shocker is Dayton and Stanford um, getting their way into the Sweet 16. Very talented teams. Um, I'm not going to lie about that. They've deserved the spot that they're in now, but I had no idea that these teams would go that far. I did pick Dayton and Sanford to win the first game, but um, not getting the Sweet 16. So if you were one of those, what, I think 17 people that have gotten um, the Sweet 16 correct so far, would love to know your reasoning and um, why you picked them, or if it was just on team colors. If not, I guess I need to be doing that instead. Um, a couple of standout games we had today. We had Kansas losing. Um, not a big surprise there because they seem to choke often in the tournament, which is why Stanford is now in the Sweet 16. And uh, Kentucky beat Wichita State, which cracked their perfect record. I'm sorry, um, I called it two weeks ago that. Wichita State would lose in the second round of the tournament. So if you listen to me and filled out your bracket, congratulations. You should at least be correct in um, that side of the bracket or that game um, for the Sweet 16. Uh, you know, nobody can be perfect, and they had a great run. And I'm not going to lie, I underestimated them until I saw them play today. Um, they are a very experienced team, and... Uh, you know, Kentucky has some young kids on there, but they showed up and played in the second half. So congratulations to Kentucky. Uh, crazy ending to the Iowa State-UNC game. So if you're watching that, you saw that Iowa State scored to win. They inbound the ball. The clock didn't start. Uh, Roy Williams tried to call a timeout. His team didn't see him, or at least I don't think they saw him because they didn't call a timeout until there was zero seconds left on the clock, and that's how the game ended after the referees, of course, reviewed it. So those are some of the highlights that I've seen so far. I'm not really sure who I'm more surprised about, being in the Sweet 16, Stanford, or Dayton. I think I'd have to say Dayton because I just randomly guessed that they would beat Ohio State in the first game, but... I never knew that they would make it this far. And um, congratulations on the SEC. All their three teams that made it in the tournament have made it into the next round. You got Florida, Kentucky, and Tennessee. So congratulations to them. Would love to know everyone's uh, thoughts, topics, and questions, comments, any, any feedback on the NCAA tournament. How are you doing your brackets? Are they busted? Um, I'm still good to go because all of my three brackets have um, the winning team still in. I've got Florida, Michigan State, and Louisville um, winning the entire thing. So crossing my fingers that they remain in the tournament. Um, another couple of topics that happened this weekend was the Jets let go of Mark Sanchez and replaced him with Michael Vick. I'm not really sure it was the smartest move. Um, they have a great quarterback in Geno Smith, so I probably would have just stuck with him. However, it was time to get rid of Mark Sanchez. Um, Michael Vick has been a great quarterback over the past couple of years. He has not been as great as he used to be, so maybe he just needed a change of um, teams to make that happen but would love to know your thoughts on that. And today I saw that David Ortiz signed a one-year um, contract deal with the Boston Red Sox for, get this, 
16 million dollars for a year um that would be nice uh, if i could have 16 million dollars to spend in a year but that's the weekend mashup thanks for joining would love to know your thoughts on the ncaa tournament how your brackets are doing thoughts on mark sanchez leaving vic going to the jets and would you enjoy david ortiz's salary i know i would have a great week, and I'll see you next week, I'm sure, with more basketball topics. Bye.